want to welcome to the program this morning Michael Waltra from NASCAR. And uh, here to talk about a new book. Actually, it's the movie now that has followed the book. Welcome to the program, Michael. Uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's a great day. It's beautiful here in North Carolina. Uh, last night I showed uh, the documentary to a bunch of my friends and family, and and tonight we, we're going to go all across America one night only um, in, in theater, hopefully a theater near you. You can go to fathomevents.com and type in your zip code and see what the nearest theater to you is, and I'm really happy about the, the, the documentary. People have enjoyed it, appreciated it, and I can't wait for the world to see it. The name of the movie is Blink of an Eye, and it basically, in a nutshell, follows what you went through in that day 18 years ago, not having a, a NASCAR win yet, 400, what was it, 62 uh, race losing streak. And that one day, Daytona 500, here you have the highest high of your life and probably the lowest low when you win the Daytona 500. And then at seconds later, you you lose your, your good friend, team owner, Dale Earnhardt. When you relive those memories, does it still touch some sensitive areas in your soul? Well, I'll relive it every day. You know, it's just part of who I am. And if, you know, anytime I think of it, I get emotional. And so telling the story was was hard, but it was also somewhat therapeutic in the fact that I was able to, to, to lay out the story uh, to my to my producer and director of the documentary in a way that um, I, I was really happy with, you know, I was happy with, with what came out. But the thing that was really special to me is the other, the other personalities in the documentary. And it, it's crazy because like everything that I'd never talked to Dale Jr. about that day and what he said in the documentary matched up perfectly with what I said. Richard Petty, the same thing. My brother, Daryl, who was in the movie, my, my wife at the time, she's my ex-wife now, but Buffy, she's in the movie, my publicist, and all of them have the same same emotional recollection of the events of two, February 18, 2001. Um, a day, like you said, I took the checkered flag, and I thought the whole world was perfect. I mean, I I'd just driven my buddy's car, my friend Dale, who, who told me if I ever drove for him, I'd win races. I'd just done exactly what he said I was going to do. And when I got to victory lane, champagne was in the air and confetti and my team, my family, I celebrated for probably a half hour taking pictures, doing interviews. And I started to ask Buffy, my, my wife, I was like, why isn't Dale here yet? Because I knew that he's going to come through that gate and, and grab me and give me the biggest bear hug I ever had in my life. And I wanted that so bad. I wanted that more than I wanted the money or the trophy, and he, he he never came through that gate. And I later would learn probably 40, 45 minutes after the race during some of the press um, interviews, my, my publicist but bump, cut in and said, we need to leave now. And that, that, that really confused me, and it concerned me, and she would she would tell us that, Dale had, by, had died on that last lap crash. And that's just got to be tough. Uh, Michael, have you ever asked yourself why you were handed those cards? I mean, the highest high of your life and then almost immediately the lowest low. Do you ever ask yourself, why me? No, I'm, I'm a Christian Christian guy. I believe that our days are numbered here on earth and our hairs are counted. And when it's our turn, it's our turn. And that's how I, that's how I live. That's how I'm able to to reflect on it and, and tell the story because Dale was driving off turn four in Daytona and saw his buddy and his son going to take the checkered flag and win that race. And there's a Bible verse that says, when you believe and you leave this world, you wind up in the presence of the Lord. And if that, that sounds like a pretty good day to me to see your buddy and your son winning. And then the next thing you know, you're in heaven um, I'm sure Dale had a big smile on his face. Well, that's a good point, and that definitely gives us a view that a lot of us probably haven't thought of beforehand. Michael Waltrip, I appreciate you taking time today to uh, give us a uh, call and talk about this uh, movie that's going to be shown tonight, 
blink of an eye. We look forward to when uh, in the future it might also be in some other uh, outlets as well. It's a great story. Uh, you're a, a big part of uh, all this. And Michael, it's just an honor talking to you, having followed uh, your racing career and uh, all that uh, you've done over the years. It's a, a pleasure and an honor to have you here on the uh, morning show this morning. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate you having me on. Like I said, you can go to fathomevents.com, type in your zip code, and it'll tell you a theater near you. Michael Waltrip, thanks for joining us. Have yourself a terrific day. I appreciate you having me. Thank you much.